Hi, Husker Nation. I'm Olivia Malk. I play libero, and I'm from Bennington, Nebraska. Hi, I'm Skylar Pierce. I'm an outside hitter. I'm from Kansas City, and this is getting cozy. <laughs> and this is cozy. What? Cozy. Cozy with the corn. With the corn Huskers. Yeah. And this is cozy with the corn Huskers. What are you most excited for now that we're uh, here on campus? Um, I think I'm most excited for just to meet the people, like really getting introduced to everybody and getting to get to know the girls better, just being here on campus and being like in the Husker arena is gonna be, it's a really different feeling yeah. being finally here. This is a good one. Okay. What is your go-to food or meal after a match? Oh, I'd say I like pasta, like any kind of pasta and definitely chocolate milk because a big one and I feel like that. <laughs> Aside from the bob, where is a place you would want to play a volleyball match? Um, definitely Memorial Stadium. The, we came to this game last year and it was so much fun just being here in the stadium and seeing it for the first time. So definitely if you got an opportunity to play it, I think it would be so cool. Yeah. Especially with 92,000 fans right. here you all would be crazy. Yeah. What is your biggest volleyball ick? Um, definitely short socks. I just I'm not a big fan of short socks. So. Yeah. yeah. I had a th yeah. same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So like, what was your process early re enrolling for this season? Um, mine was kind of crazy because I didn't decide I wanted to come early until like, like a month or two before <laughs> we got here. So I think it was a little more stressful just trying to get everything, um, done and like finalized and all the paperwork signed. But I'm really glad I ended up coming early to be able to play beach and get around the girls. Yeah. What about you? Um, for me, I knew I wanted to go. Whatever school I wanted to go to, I knew I wanted to go early. So I already started doing like, summer classes throughout the summer leading up to high school. Mm -hmm. So I kind of already knew and got like all of my assignments done. So I was already kind of prepared going into yeah. this season. Yeah. Um, looking back, like what was your commitment story? Like when did you do it and how did you do it? Um, for me, my community kind of started just looking at colleges throughout, like, in the middle school and eighth grade and then throughout high school, but we didn't get our calls or, like, be able to talk to the coaches unless you were at camps or involved at, like, the USA program and getting talk mm -hmm. coaches there, but I got my first call with Nebraska on June 15th, and after that call, I had calls set up, but after being able to talk to the coaches and, like, seeing what they were looking forward to me being there and, like, the kind of, like, support and love that they put into that call. I just knew after that, that that was the place and like the people I wanted to surround myself with going through my college career. So that was a big thing for me. And that kind of just from there, just decided my fate from that. Yeah. What about you? Um, I'd say growing up in Nebraska, I've always been a fan of the volleyball team. Mm -hmm. So on June 15th, when I got the text from Cook, from coach, um, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. It's like a dream come true. Um, so I committed a couple days after that, um, but it was just, it was unreal. I was actually upside down on my first call with them, oh. which was a little emba <laughs> embarrassing. Um, so does that to you, it happens. Yeah, so yeah. but it, it worked out okay. That's good, <laughs> that's good. Yeah. What was your first experience with Coach Cook like? Um, my first impression was probably at a camp that I came to probably my sophomore or junior year. And it was just like the way that he carried himself was like so much. He just carried himself brought, like shoulders back and just head up all the time. And it was like really intimidating, but like it was something like I looked up to and just seeing the way that he held himself and expressed his love for the volleyball and how his relationships with the girls were so good. Like that was something that I knew I wanted to have in a head coach and a coach in general. So knowing that I could have the opportunity to have that as someone in my, like my village to talk to was really exciting. Mm -hmm. What about for you? Um, I'd say I first interacted definitely at a camp, mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, just like on our call, he just seemed so like welcoming and like the fact that he kind of like wanted us to come here so bad just like made me feel good. Yeah. Having like him have faith in us that we were good enough to come here just mm -hmm. meant a lot. So. Yeah. Okay, so like, what was Volleyball Day like to you? I know it was your birthday, so like, and you came and celebrated it here, so what yeah. was that like? Um, it was definitely so special just being able to see the fan base and how much they support Nebraska Volleyball. I think it's such a cool thing that we're going to be a part of this year. Um, 
they always bring so much energy and stuff. So yeah, I'm super excited for that. Yeah. <laughs> um, for me, it was really emotional just seeing Nebraska volleyball kind of being like the forefront for women's sports and like taking that big step to help women's sports, not just volleyball, but all women's sports and being like that first step toward people really watching volleyball and being like that big arena for everybody to be big fans. People who don't even watch volleyball ended up watching it. So just knowing that we get to be a part of that coming up this season and being part of a team that was that forefront is really exciting. And having these coaches that have these big dreams and goals for us, is just something to really look forward to. Yeah, I agree. Oh yeah, I turned it up. Yeah, not, I mean. It's just you were playing up, yeah. so it's like we never, right. only interactions were probably like after we both committed. Yeah. And then I was like, oh. Yeah. Cause I don't think I ever thought, knew that you were like our age until. Yeah, yeah a lot of we, people did. Yeah, a lot of people did not know that. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> I'll ask you the question first. Let me know when you're good. Garden. Okay, I got it. <laughs> I got the okay. Well, yeah. So. I know this one's tough, but what's one reason why you chose Nebraska? Um, there's like a bajillion reasons why I would choose why I chose to come here, but one, probably the main one, is uh, to stay close to home, so like all my family could come and watch. That was a big part of coming here. Yeah. Obviously, they're they're really good at volleyball, mm -hmm. so. That was a part too, but mostly the close to home part. Mm -hmm. Family's important. Mm -hmm. Yep. What about you? Um, for me, same. There's just so many reasons, but I, I wanted my family to be there and be able to come whenever they need to. Mm -hmm. But also, Nebraska just breeds the athlete that I want to become and the person I want to become. And just seeing the accolades and the athletes that have come through this program and have become did so many good things in volleyball like I want to be able to do that in the future so just knowing that I'm in the program now that it's giving me one step closer to that is really important thing to me yeah okay so growing up who was your volleyball idol mine was definitely uh Justine Walorantes she's just so like composed when she when she plays and I I guess I kind of see myself in her a little bit mm -hmm. so I think she's yeah she's one I look up to and want to be like someday what about you? Um, mine would have to be Jordan Larson. I know she's one of our coaches right now, so it's been really cool just to be like around her and like just seeing like what, she, what skills she has me to work on and stuff like that. Yeah. But just watching her throughout like her career, either at Nebraska or like on the Olympic stage, just seeing how she carries herself and the way that she carries the team has been like a big leader on both sides of the ball. It's like really inspiring and like something I definitely want to be able to do in the future. Yep. Okay, okay, one time I, I kicked it, so I'll say that. You kicked it? Yeah, it like came right at my feet and I kicked it up. Did it go over or did it just... I, I got it up and then somebody hit it over. Did you score the point? Yeah, we did. Oh, wow. I know. It's it was pretty cool. I bet. <laughs> I don't know. I like milk up. Have you ever watched that? Yeah. It's so funny. Is that your favorite movie? Yes. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love that. I was not expecting that. <laughs> Princess and the Frog, all the way. Ooh. Oh. Or? Can it be like Disney Channel? Sure. Okay, well, I gotta think. I was really big into like um, Wizards of Waverly Place. That's a good one. I just rewatched that. Really? Yeah. I loved Shake It Up Chicago. That was a go-to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Hannah Zendaya. Montana. Zendaya. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Thanks for joining us on Getting Cozy with the Corn Huskers. We can't wait for our beach season to start. <laughs> Just, yeah, I forgot. No, I think <laughs> season to start. Join us for. We can't wait. Thanks for listening to us on Cozy with the Corn Huskers. We are really excited for our beach season to start. Go, Go Big Red. red. Perfect. Nailed it. Woo. Yes, so good. Woo. I should have had my little bear on my top. I know.